They were really wild today. Dogs were really wild today. I don't know what it was. I was making them crazier, but um, I haven't done this in a little while uh, because this exercise in a little while because I uh, had the pick line in uh, in my right arm. Uh, see the three little knots there. Um, so I was getting IV for that and so I couldn't do exercise with my right arm so now I can do exercise with my right arm and so I'm uh, doing some of the exercises that I haven't done in a little bit uh, just kind of work both arms. Um, the weight here is extremely small but I don't know. I kind of feel I. I know that it's really hard on the ego to to uh, um, do ex do exercises with a weight that's really really tiny. But you know, I, I guess that's kind of the way that I am. I. Uh, it, the, if you look at long distance runners, then they aren't really. They aren't really. Most of them don't have a whole lot of muscles. Uh, big bulging muscles and things like that but they win the race you know or they do really good in the race so some people in long distance you know exercise uh, uh, muscles and you know for working out and uh, some people are more uh, bulk and uh, uh, size and things like that um, so I think that the thing about it is with the with the smaller with 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 the um, with the bulky muscles with the big muscles thick big thick muscles then you have more of a uh, um, you have more of a quick. Uh, it's like a burst of energy. It's more of a, you know, uh, it's like a spike, really quick spike, and then then it goes down, really really quickly. Um, I think that's what is going on with the muscle, with the triggering muscles, um, when you have big muscles, big bulky muscles. There, it's more of a, a rapid. Uh, exertion of, mu uh, of of energy, um, and then uh, you know a rapid depletion of energy. Um, but but with me, then I'm using more of the lighter weight, but I'm building a ton of repetitions, and so I think that what with that, with the lighter weight and the ton of repetitions, then it. It could possibly be harder on your joints and your cartilage and things like that. Uh, although I haven't really experienced anything like that, knock on wood. Um, but uh, uh, what it what it does is uh, it just I think it it makes makes your muscles last longer as far as. Um, you can use them for a longer period of time uh, uh, to do things. Um, I have, you know, I've seen like uh, Scooby 1961. I, I've seen guys that uh, they have really big muscles, and um, you know they they do exercises like uh, you know like like. thing you know with the swimming and then the running and then the, uh, something else but uh, so it, it, some people it, you know some people it, having big bulky muscles is just fine with them um, but with me then I you know like I said I like to I, I like to use the lighter weights and uh, do a ton of repetitions. Um, 
And it just it works out best for me as far as using a lot of weights because if I use the heavier weights, uh, a lot of the times I do the exercises kind of by myself most of the time because like, I, I just don't want people telling me what to do. So um, I do the exercise by myself, and whenever I do the exercise by myself, I am not good to have a bunch of weights because um, I have. You know, if I if I do exercise with the big weights, then um, then I there's more of a chance of hurting myself. And since I don't have the uh, the um, the ability, the, the stability chance uh, with my legs, with my lower half to kind of catch myself, uh, you know, um, then I don't really have an extra that extra bit of help. So I, I choose to use a lighter weight. Um, what I'm doing here, what if you if you look at the uh, initially what I did was I, I did the exercise with my hands with my arms a little bit closer um, whenever I was doing the presses. But the thing about it is with your arms closer, then what it does is it puts a little bit more pressure on the elbows, and so that's why I started to. To kind of scoot my arms out, uh, scoot my hands out, uh, so that we're reaching onto the edges of the bar, of the easy curl bar. And I did. I kept doing a bunch of my presses with that uh, exercise uh, um, form, and then uh, then then I got the uh, cushion of the um, the uh, pads. Uh, they're sponges. That I got from a YouTube friend of mine, and uh, I use those for the rest of my uh, sets. Um, and I got I got a pretty good workout. Uh, after a while, then um, what was hardest for me, um, and I I thought that maybe I would get more of a workout of my of the upper part of my of my Back and uh, and maybe the front of my shoulders, uh, and I did I did get some work out there. Uh, most of my workout was there, but then some of it was also I was trying to maintain balance. If you see, I have my head back touching the wall. Uh, I'm using the wall as a brace uh, to kind of hold myself uh, still.